Hello and welcome back from the break. We are here at OP Live Dallas with our next Power Talk. This is from Garvey. He is the Director of Strategic Partnerships at Twitch. He's been involved in gaming for 25 years. He started with Dungeons and Dragons in the 80s, moved to competitive Magic the Gathering in 1993 to 1996, and then he got involved with esports through Ultima Online. He's been with Twitch for five years and his most favorite accomplishment there was creating the Twitch student program in 2015. He's going to be talking to us about sustainability through investment in education. What up? Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for having me. So we've expanded the discussion a, bit, uh, a little bit. We're going to be talking about sustainability and increased professionalism through investment in education. Right? So this, this talk really isn't only for students. It's not only for administrators, um, it's not only for industry, it's really for all three. I think this is a program where industry, students, and administrators can all come together and create something new and exciting, new and exciting programs that create opportunity for students, universities, and of course the industry we all love so much. Let me run over here. Blah, blah. So that's me, right? Um, Invent Global. Um, Another strange fact is I was also a break dancer and a graffiti artist back in the 1980s before Kevin was even born. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Used to battle the Rocksteady crew and Crazy Legs, if anybody knows break dancing history. Um, so I'd like to talk about a couple things we focus on in the program. Um, we have three pillars that we really believe in and I think everybody in the world should believe in this. Um, it's a digital medium. It knows no boundaries, it knows no religion, it knows no gender, it knows no societal constructs. So we like to focus on inclusivity and diversity through collaboration. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. And Kevin's great contribution to this program is he likes to focus on the three C's. He calls it community, competition, and career. And it makes sense, especially at a student level. Oh, it worked from there, right? Cool. So uh, sustainability, what we're really looking to do with this program is for students, high school and universities to become the future community members, future pro players, future content creators, employees, employers, thought leaders and vision holders. What we're really hoping to do with programs like this, especially working with universities so closely, love you Mike. Um, is empower students and give them confidence in themselves, apply themselves with passion and vigor to start answering some of the known unknowns that we have in this industry. And more importantly, maybe identify some unknown unknowns that we have in this industry for the next generation of students to pick up the ball and create their own opportunities. So uh, I think this is really interesting, right? This is. A big shout out to the industry people that might be here and wonder why investing in students or investing in education, what does it mean for you? What does it mean for the industry that we know, love, uh, eat, sleep, breathe, and die by? So uh, this is really interesting. So we have three major components that we like to talk about. We have a Twitch student handbook that we send out to universities and students, which is the basis of the program. It just kind of describes the knowledge, tools, and support we have available for universities and students. Um, the second part we like to talk about is the vision of the program. And I'm a big proponent of always starting discussions with the vision. Why is this important to you? Why is this important to the people that you want to work with? And I think starting with vision and why you want to do something is cool because when you work with people and you express your vision and they believe in your vision and they have buy into your vision, they don't work for you, you don't work for them, you don't work for a company that also believes in the vision, you're all working together towards a shared vision. And that's a huge difference when you start working with people, right? When you work with people that believe in what you believe in, you work together for blood, with blood, sweat, and tears. You don't work for a paycheck. And that's the beauty of focusing on the vision. Always identify why something is important to you. Eight people might walk away from a conversation with, with you, 
but the two people that stay and listen, they believe in what you believe in, right? You also believe in what they believe in. You work together towards that shared vision. It makes everything so much easier. So uh, the third component is what I like to call the university challenge. This is the heart and soul of the program. This is what creates opportunity for not just gamers on a campus, right? So that's the sustainability part for the industry. We're talking about professionalizing the industry a little bit. So the University Challenge is a one-page document that you can find on our Twitch student portal, and it's an interdisciplinary approach to practically applying one's education to the business of this new digital world. So as you could see here, we have a great Venn diagram, right, showing how marketing, business, computer science, and art and media can all intersect through the medium of esports to learn how to apply these specific disciplines to the digital world, right? Um, and I think this is really important because not only does it grow the community on your campus, you want a live, vibrant community because, of course, through the Twitch student program, we provide the business model and the way for the students to fund the program by themselves at no cost to themselves. We're supposed to empower students and give them confidence. You can't empower people by giving them anything, but you can give them the education and the tools to earn. And that's what our program provides. So if obviously if you have a bigger core community, not only are they are applying themselves to help you professionalize your esports program, but they now have visibility in how they could use their free Twitch Prime sub to send to your channel, how they can buy things through Amazon affiliate through your channel so your school program gets the commission. Again, by the students, for the students, also empowering the administrator in the university to help you create a program like this because it has inherent sustainability in it by the students, for the students, right? So not only does it help the esports program, but think about the benefits for the individual students. An art student, for example, that graduates and now has this great engaging storyline on their cover letter that says, okay, I know my resume shows I'm a recent grad and I studied art, but I wanna let you know that I applied art to a digital medium and I created the digital visual assets for our school programs, social media. I created the digital visual assets for the Twitch team page and the channels and everything else they did. I applied A, B, and C, and the esports program went from one to four. Here's my portfolio of proof of executions. Same thing with the marketing department. Here's my social media strategy. Here's the tools I use to qualify and quantify the data behind it. Um, here's how I reached out to with different messaging to different communities inherent in our college or our high school and brought people together, right? Again, portfolios and storylines on the cover letter that shows that you're not a recent grad. You have three years of experience specifically applying your educational discipline to this brand new digital medium. Yes, I know it uses Twitch and it uses eSports. It's just a medium. The skills you learn by being a part of an esports program can be applied to any digital media company, whether it's people that have websites, whether it's um, traditional companies that don't have an Instagram or a Twitter presence, right? The tools you're learning, um, how to apply these tools is applicable in any industry. So it kind of makes sense when you think about this, right? Bigger community brings in more money, creates more opportunity for the esports program to grow, maybe have more live events, maybe field trips to go see E3 or go to TwitchCon or whatever the case may be, whatever is appropriate for that program. Um, computer science, I think, speaks to itself. This industry is a digital medium. Engineers and computer scientists are the, the bread and butter. It's the heart and soul of our industry as we innovate. Uh-oh. There we go. So uh, this is how you could kind of um, support students. I think it's really important that you have options, whatever is most appropriate to the industry, the administrators, and the students also working with other students. Workshops is a great way to do it. Think about that. 
Um, this is a really great way for students to show and give love to the university that helped them create a great program like this that allows you to add your education with passion and vigor to a brand new industry. You can create a workshop and say, hi, I'm an art student. Um, what I'm gonna do is, this is the knowledge that has been given to me by my university. These are the tools that I'm using to create these great digital visual assets. I use Photoshop because of ABC. I use this because of that. I use this because of that. Stay with me for two days and I'm going to teach you what my university has taught me. And you'll be able to create your own digital visual assets, create your own emoticons, do whatever you want with these skills. That shows off their skills. It also shows a lot of love to the university. And what university doesn't like to have student advocates that are actually practically applying their education to real benefit to themselves, their community, and the university, and to the industry they want to serve. Uh, another way is internships. Um, I think this is super important for industry people and university administrators. There's a couple really great universities like Boise State and UCI that actually hire students, right? They either give them independent study coursework to manage the team or do the social media or do the digital visual assets. Um, Boise State pays students to be a part of the program from other disciplines. Um, industry as well. Um, I will never hire a large team for my program. I like to run a nice lean operation. I have access to every department all over the world for Twitch and Amazon. Um, but I won't hire more than a core team because every year I want to run what's called the Twitch Student Ambassador Program, where we select two, three, or four students from each country and we mentor them and we pay them and we give them that opportunity to recent grads, of course, because you need a little bit of time, graduate college, come find a home at Twitch student, we'll get you out there, we'll give you the stuff that you need for your resume, you'll have a contract with Twitch and Amazon for a year, um, you, we pay you to go grow your network. This is super important because I always say your network is your net worth in this industry. If you combine that with a good reputation because you've applied yourself with passion and vigor, reputation is the grease that makes the network work for you as you work for the network. So I'll never hire a large team. I want a constant cycle. I want new and fresh ideas. I want people to have feet on the ground and understand the student space and understand the problems and challenges that administrators have. I want them to innovate, right? So I want this constant cycle, create opportunity for them, to create opportunity for me, to create opportunity for the industry. I like to call it the Jerry Maguire squared business model. Help me help you help those that help me. So I could help you more, help them more, help me, or so on and so forth. Perpetual motion of support for each other. Students, industry, and administrators. Classes and curriculums. Um, so we have the great, great fortune of being trusted by um, universities and high schools in 23 countries right now. So I'm helping universities create great curriculums, right? I help them with the terminology. No capital S, please. If you say E hyphen gaming, never ever call me again. Um, right? Like the, the correct terminology. Yeah, exactly. I, I die a little on the inside every time I see E gaming. And if there's a hyphen in it, uh, I'd have to sleep for like 48 hours. Um, but yeah, help them with the flow of it. Make sure the information is appropriate. I help them. There's some universities now that have incorporated the university challenge, I told you. This cohort-based collaboration of students from different departments applying themselves to the esports program. So an example is Syracuse University, Newhouse Media School. Very famous, very prestigious. Um, I helped them with their esports and media class, and they used the university challenge as their final project, which I'll fly to Syracuse University in December and judge and see which business model hit all the little things that I had incorporated in the university challenge. So I think that's really cool. On campus jobs, we talked about it with the internships, um, but there's lots of opportunities for subject matter experts, of which you students are absolutely student uh, subject matter experts. Work with Mike and like, get that synergy going, right? Subject matter experts, 
with some support at an institutional level to create opportunity for everybody, right? That's what these jobs, that's what these internships, that's what these workshops, it works. It really works. And again, it's the students driving, the administrators in the industry, all we're doing is playing support, right? And uh, please don't call me Mark Candela. Everybody calls me Garvey. Again, I've been doing this for 25 years. Um, if there's somebody that wants to hear a, a, a very short story about the power of gaming, um, I'll tell you a little personal note about myself that a lot of people don't know about. So I grew up in the 70s and 80s um, in a very rough and tumble Brooklyn, New York. Um, I, I was obviously a very rough and tumble kind of person, um, but I had one friend that had a good family. And every other Sunday, his uncle would come over and they would play family Dungeons and Dragons. And it'd be the mother, the father, um, my friend, and two cousins. And the DM was so good at telling stories and the interaction between a non-player character and your character. So I obviously played the exact opposite of what I was in real life. I role-played the goody-goody of Dungeons & Dragons. I role-played a paladin. So my nickname in Brooklyn was Marcus Garvey. Um, kind of rough and tumble again, right? But my paladin was named Garvey. And through role-playing over a matter of several years, I started understanding that there was a different way to think. There's a different way to talk to people. There's a different way to act. Being in the service of others is the finest form of living you can have. And slowly but surely, this every other Sunday, this interaction between me being in the service of others and this really good storytelling DM giving me this great interactions with the NPCs, it made me start realizing that there's a different way to think. There's a different way to talk to people. There's a different way to live my life. And here I am, 25 years later, um, about as the exact opposite of when I grew up that you could possibly imagine. And uh, this is the power of gaming. This is the power that I have in my mind. Mark, to me, has negative connotations. Garvey, to me, is the epitome of what I wanted to live and what I wanted to be. And I had that experience through gaming and Dungeons and & Dragons, carried over through 1996 with Ultima Online, I was the ultimate anti-PK when everybody just wanted to go out and kill everybody else. I would hunt these people down. I'd find out where they lived. Ultima Online was a huge sandbox game. You could put houses anywhere in the world. I found out where you lived. You killed my friend. I will camp your doorstep until you come and I will redeem the good nature of the game. So that's a little power of gaming. It is what you make of it. It's a creative outlet. It's an opportunity. It is what you decide to make of this. It's the powers all in your hands. You're empowered. Build that confidence in yourself with the experience that people like Chris Allison and Michael and so many other educators are trying to create that opportunity for you to express yourself, empower yourself, apply yourself, build that confidence because when you have confidence in yourself, it's a magnet for people. People will have confidence in you if you have confidence in yourself. People will love you if you love yourself. It all comes from the inside. And this is what we're trying to do is just create this opportunity to express yourself in whatever way is most appropriate to you while you're doing a great service to your fellow students, your universities, and helping grow a brand new, beautiful industry. Thank you.